Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. What is going on guys, Chris here, back again with another video for you all today. So, the last video as you guys saw me, I was at the Irvington Reservoir, filmed the video there, caught four bass overall, I believe. And uh, now guys, as you can see, I am at Halsey Pond. So guys, here's the game plan. I'm just going to try to catch whatever is running right now. I was thinking of going to the reservoir, but I've already done a lot of videos there in the past. The last four uploads have been there. And I also wanted to go to the Hudson, but I tried to film a video there yesterday and caught nothing. I got skunk, so it looks like salt water is going to have to wait for a little bit. So basically, guys, this is the only option within a close vicinity I feel comfortable going through during this time. Alright guys, so here is the game plan today. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of corn here. This bait is really good for the carp and the sunfish, as well as a bit of bread. These two baits here are the best baits to use here at Halsey Pond. We're going to get the GoPro underwater, we're going to get some underwater shots, that should be good. Let's see what happens guys, and as always, I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, so please guys, make sure to hit the red subscribe button, it is free. Smash the notification bell, and let's get fishing. Here is the setup for today. As you can see, we have this tiny, uh, I'm not exactly sure what size it is, but a very small stainless steel hook. And uh, I have my medium heavy 20 foot spinning rod, as you guys can see. This hook may be a little bit big, so I might have to switch off um, to a different hook. As you guys can see, I have a tiny piece of corn on the hook here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to some of these areas here where there are these little rocks and crevices and a lot of blue that like to hang out here. I got some bread here. I'm gonna try to chum up the water without these geese uh, coming in. You can tell they're already eyeing me out, which is not a great sign. Come on, out, shoo, away with you. That's right. I have to keep on getting these geese to get away from my lines and the bread. Pretty sure there gotta be some fish here, so let's see what we can do. Oh, oh, there we go. We got a hit. We got a hit. There is a fish right here, guys. There he is again. I think he got it in his mouth. Oh, no. There he is. He's right there. He got it. He got it. Oh, no. The fish is still there. I don't know why it's... Oh, finally. All right. Guys, why did that have to take so long? Why? All right, guys. Well, first fish of the day here, pumpkin seed sunfish. I have no idea why it took me that long to catch one fish, one very small, sad looking fish, but um, you know, that's fishing guys. You never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and string this guy up on a live line, hopefully get on some largemouth bass. Let's see what happens. As I was filming with the big camera, I think a carp just hit my uh, rod after I tossed it out like a few inches out into the water. I'm gonna cast him out right over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and check out that carp rod, get it strung up with some more corn, because the fish probably stole it. I don't know if you guys see that right there, but the fish keep on taking it, Running with there it is again. Look, the fish aren't dipping at it. They keep on taking it, running with it, and then dropping it, getting it somewhat taunt. I mean, I'm pretty sure those are just sunnies, but it's something. Oh, oh! Did you guys see that? That was a uh, little bass, I think. I'm right, gonna hit and hit. There we go. There we have a little pumpkin sea sunfish. Thank you. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of these little sunfish all in this area, so catching a lot of them. So, here we go, guys. Second fish of the day, little pumpkin seed sunfish. I'm going to stream this guy up on a live line because there are some bass right out there. I saw them jumping. Look, all the fish are now coming out. This was not happening like 30 minutes ago. There, one's got it right now. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, third fish of the day. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. I can underwater release on the GoPro. A few moments later. Alright guys, I did not have the camera on, but we just hooked up to a massive fish. Actually, it's not even massive. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was that big. I mean, I went off on a giant run, but uh, there we go. First carp of 2020. That is pretty cool. All right, guys. First fish of the day. Actually, what am I saying? First carp of the day. Uh, also the, I believe, fourth fish of the day. Really nice common carp. 
It's been a long time since I caught one of these guys. I think the last time was probably in August. Uh, but it's a really cool looking fish. I used to catch a lot of these, but recently I don't think I've been catching as many here at Halsey. But really cool looking fish. Let's go ahead and get an underwater release. All right, guys, so that was pretty cool. Really happy about that carp. That's actually the first one that I've caught in a very, very long time. There were some carp, and I managed to hook up with one completely by accident. I literally just had the rod sitting in the water. Left it there for a second, all of a sudden the rod started like moving towards the water, like going really, really fast. And that's because carp, especially common carp, have a very, very fast initial run. Uh, they kind of lose it after that, but I thought it was a giant fish. Let's go ahead and get on a couple more fish and call it a day. Well, that's actually pretty unfortunate. My GoPro just died. Probably catch a couple more using this camera, uh, but it's not quite the same. Alright guys, maybe here another little carp rig, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out there, see what happens. No, no, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't you eat it. Don't you dare eat it. Uh. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I didn't get anything else on that carp rod. Uh, the bread fell off pretty much instantly and it's not that surprising because that bread was sitting out in the sun for a long time It got dehydrated doesn't stay on the hook well after that But uh, honestly, I was relatively happy with how today went bite was super slow for the first hour Didn't catch anything except for one small sunfish which took me a very long time to hook uh, But then after that a uh, medium-sized carp grass carp about you know a foot maybe 14 inches or so came up took the bait and uh, yeah, we caught the first carp of 2020, which was really, really nice. Uh, so pretty happy about that. Wasn't expecting to catch a carp today. Anyway guys, so that sums it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. So please guys, make sure to hit the red subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.